Good morning, Saints. Pastor Mike, Genesis is up in church here in San Jose, California. I'm standing on Communication Hill once again. My back is towards the east side of San Jose. The instructions that I was given for today is to stand here specifically with East San Jose and back of me. You can see the foothills, you can see the mountains, a little bit of fog covering it, but it's still a glorious day out here. The purpose of this is we're following through with the 21 day fast according to Daniel 10. And we now are in the 24th day, read the scriptures. If you want more explanation of that, go to EncounterGenesis.com and look to the Monday night stream where the young prophet uh, Andrew Castillo uh, gave a sure word of prophecy. He'll take you back into the beginning of the 21 days uh, that we're speaking about. So as we're standing here today, understand what I'm doing here is in my hand, I have a steak. I have oil and I have salt. What I will be doing is I will be driving this steak. It's got the scriptures on it. Uh, on this on the steak, it talked about revival, reconciliation, restoration, and repentance. I'm going to be driving this steak into the ground. I'm going to be pouring oil over it. I'm going to be pouring the salt over it. And I'm going to establish a time of covenant up here uh, with the breaking of bread. As we do this, I'm expecting, today is that 24th day, I'm expecting the breakthrough that Daniel got in Daniel 10, uh, chapter 10, uh, at the 24th day, uh, he experienced a breakthrough as a result of his prayer, fasting, and supplication. Also, I want to make an offer to, the, to you, to those who are watching, if you have a piece of property, you have a home, and you have a mortgage on that home, if you are working out of a business that's on a piece of property and you're not experiencing your breakthrough, please contact us. And we, myself and the ministry team, we will come over and we will put, we will drive the stakes into the ground. We will declare the scriptures according to the stakes based on the oil and the salt and uh, the bread and the wine in the breaking of bread. And we will take claim over that piece of property that God has established in your life. So I'm excited today. This is that 24 day fast. I'll be doing this uh, in just a few minutes. Again, uh, the Lord instructed me uh, this morning to come and stand facing the east. And when he gave me this word today, what I saw is in this breakthrough, this entire region of San Jose, California, I saw the anointing of God. I saw a glory cloud come over from the east hills of San Jose, and I see it hovering, lowest, very specific, hovering over the entire region of San Jose, just like the Spirit of God hovered over the earth before God said, let there be light and light was. So I'm excited. It's a great time. Even in this pandemic, I know that I know, not because man has told me, but it's been spoken to me by the Spirit of God. In this breakthrough, once this pandemic is dried up and is destroyed, we're going to feel and experience a flood of provision in our lives like we've never experienced before. Physically, in our bodies, our minds, hallelujah, our financial needs, the needs of our loved ones, salvation is hovering over this valley. So get ready. I encourage you. Uh, in this time of shutdown, if you haven't, get along with God. This is a, this is that Kairos and Kronos uh, time element that the Lord has brought together. Do some homework. The Kronos time of, and the uh, Kairos time. Do some homework. Listen to what those words explain. And as you do, you understand what God is doing uh, in this valley and in this region of San Jose, California. We're praying for your pastors. We're praying for the churches of San Jose. We're praying for the ministries. To every one of you that are involved in ministry, get ready because once this, this uh, moratorium is lifted, your churches are going to be packed and God is being very specific. This is the time for you to get alone with God. Get in your prayer closet, wherever you need to go. Be quiet with God. Don't talk. Just listen to what he's speaking to you to do because he is preparing you for such a time as this. Souls are ready to come in. And what's gonna happen after they come in, what are we gonna do? They've gotta be discipled. They have to be taught the word of God. They have to have words uh, from people who have experienced the manifestation of God's glory in their lives. So I encourage you, get ready to rock and roll. I'm excited. <laughs> Woo. 
for how God is about to express his agape love towards his people. Amen. So I'm going to release this right now. I'm going to get get busy and start praying over this land. I love you. God bless you. Again, to see what we're going on, what's going on with us at Genesis Uproom Church, go to EncounterGenesis.com. Love you. Appreciate you. Jesus' mighty name.